Uh, welcome back to another episode of 15 Good Minutes. Coach B here. Freddie, how you doing, man? Pretty good. How are you guys doing? Well, good, man. JR, welcome back. You've been out a couple weeks, buddy. Good to have you back. Yeah, man. You know, some little medical issues, but I'm doing good, man. Uh, it's just the heat now. Now I'm back to back to weather again, man. This goddamn heat is killing people, man. <laughs> Sheesh. So I saw something today that said, um, I think it's Houston. Like the next couple of days is going to be the, the hot spot of the world. They they were saying numbers like one sixteen. This is after my goodness after Burl or whatever you know it hit or something. So, so yeah, I would say um, stay uh, stay cool where you can. But yeah, so we're here. Everybody's back. Um, we're going to talk about something interesting today. Um, now that we're in July and people are leveraging themselves, getting ready to go to uh, to France for the Olympics. I want to talk a little bit about. Um, the the men's um, basketball team, the selection that's been made, talk a little bit about uh, chemistry, roster, et cetera, and kind of get you guys' thoughts because um, I think they're out in Vegas right now as we're, we're recording, and they're going to they're gonna do a few tune-up games before they get going. But uh, before we get into the meat of, uh, of this team, um, let me start with you, Freddie. What, what are your thoughts on the, on the team uh, in general? I'm so – done with the nba right now is is just it's just been overload right guess what you you got the best players in in the world i don't know if they're going to trim the current guys that are there right they're going to trim right what to what number i I don't know no i I think it's 12 isn't it they got 12 right now but he's saying they're going to trim that you know they're going to trim it guess what wow i thought the reality of it is you know these guys are one they bitch and complain about the season is too long but yet the season just ended less than a month ago and now you want to go to paris and play in what play what six weeks of, of tournaments and this and that and so on and so forth and you know for a gold medal i get it you know everybody don't have that opportunity to get a go a gold play for a gold medal and it comes every four years i get all that um but you know, it's, it's, it's one of those things to where I just feel like that team, if they come together with the um, with the mindset that we want to win, we want to go out and show the world that we're the best. Yeah. You know, other countries, teams, um, you know, they have some NBA stars, you know, or whatever, but they, they don't have the overall collection of talent. that is. So I think this is just more so them, you know, getting together, getting down the offensive sets, the defensive rotations and stuff like that. And. And to, to your point, to build chemistry. Yeah, your thoughts um, on on the team pretty much the same. Are you yeah, seeing anything no, different? It's it's pretty much the same, but there's an unknown that that we don't know about because you know, especially the European players, we don't know who they have as far as uh, as complimentary players. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you got your you know your Jokic guys and those dudes. I think Serbia has has a few. Uh, fairly good players that's in the NBA, you know? And so we don't, you know, there's always some guys in the background that never make it, but that, that are complimentary players because they play the same style. My issue is with, with with Fred was sort of alluding. I mean, with Freddie was sort of alluding to is can Eagles be put aside at the, at the moment where, you know, you're getting the cheers with the American, with our team, you know what I'm saying? Uh, People wanting the ball. Uh, I mean, we got we got a good coach in Steve Steve Kerr, and all of his assistants are good. But it's it's a matter of getting them, like Freddie said, to be on one page and be there for the main purpose. You know, what I'm saying the main purpose is to win the goal. But we've got upset before. You know, when when you know people get on their own page. So uh, it's uh, I think is I think. What I like to see is I like them to see them go and, and, and beat everybody, but I still want to see some competition play. You know what I'm saying? I want to see teams that that fight a little bit, you know? So we'll see. I, I think there's a lot of teams that fight. I think mm-hmm. um, Australia, Giannis's team is good, right? I mean, I, I don't think mm-hmm. this is any kind of a cakewalk. Um, I also think that for the most part, the, um, the European teams uh, – Play more together when they're not doing their thing, if that makes sense. If you look at some mm-hmm. of the, the history of USA basketball, not necessarily Olympic-wise, but 
you know, the stuff we've done over the past couple of years, we've lost some, you know, we don't, we got some guys and it wasn't until and I wish I could recall which one it was. We had a bad outing recently that then everybody was like, okay, I'm signing up. That's when KD said he was coming in LeBron and all these guys. So something happened with the younger group. Um, and I, I think to your point, a lot of it comes down to uh, can, can, can they mesh? And, and I think they can, I think, I really honestly believe that they understand the purpose. I I mean, every one of these cats is good. I don't think there's going to be egos, but I don't know if in this amount of time, you know, can you get the work in if, if that makes sense? So I'll start with you, JR. Looking at the, they, they, they put up the cats that they're going to play before they go to France, um, Canada, Australia, Serbia, South Sudan and Germany. Three of those. Yep. Serbia, Canada, <laughs> and teams Australia. Can, can bring it, right? Yep. So, you know, that's what I'm saying. Uh, it And those are, even though Australia's got, got a lot of guys on, on the list, you know, and none of them really look like super duper stars, but they all can play ball. I, mm -hmm. I've always maintained that, um, and and you weren't you weren't here um, last week, but Freddie brought up who was it, man? Was it was it Avery Bradley? Freddie brought up somebody who was kind of a below the radar guy, but was on a championship team. You know what I mean? In yeah, the Avery NBA, Bradley. yeah, because you know, and I I think I think a lot of people can do that. I don't think you have to have five studs, you know. perennial studs mm -hmm. to win. I, I think you you got to play. Yep, the, the the gentleman from Indiana. I can't think of his name. He's a white dude. Uh, Murray, I think it's is it Murray. Anyway, I mean, he was shooting. White he, dude from Indiana. That narrows it down. No, no, a no, lot. no, no. I, I, well, you talk about from I, the Pacers from or the Pacers. There's, yeah. no white dude the Pacers. The Pacers. There's, there's no right. No, there was one dude who was playing. He kept. Shooting. You mean you mean back? You talking day? about Halliburton? Ha no, not Halliburton. You mean back in the day or current? No, this is current. So no, I'm, I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna, gonna have to find. I'll find him. No, but he he was he really kept. Whatever team he's playing for, he kept him in the game, and I've never heard of the guy. You know, oh, look at like threes. The, you know, they, so you don't know, you don't know who's going to, you don't know who's going to step up. And I, I, it, it, honestly, it doesn't matter with any other opponent that they play. It really doesn't. The reality of it is, since what you know, the dream team, what ninety two or whatever, that was a hell of a team, man. You know, yeah, it, man. But, but you know what the difference was. The difference was those guys, they locked in and they did not treat this. They didn't treat it as an all-star game of the world. This is not an all. It, enjoy yourself. Enjoy Paris. Have a good time. But when you are on the court, it's business. What is it going to take, in your opinion, for them to have that mentality? You got you to you do that now. I think you, so too. You got to have it now in the preliminary, whether Germany, Canada, Serbia, whoever you plan, you know, beat the brakes off them up front and, 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 and send Set them the tone and send a message to everybody coming up in Paris. Is there anybody that you thought got snubbed that you would like to see on the team? Tyrese Maxey on the team. Tyrese Maxey. Uh, yeah. Tyrese Maxey. I would like to see him. Uh, that, uh, I don't know if it was too short of a time that kid from Boston, uh, Brown, yeah, yeah, I'd like to see him. I I, I agree with Maxi. Um, I would definitely had him before, because when I look at, you know, who I thought was a snub, I look at who I would remove. I would remove Kawhi Leonard, you know, and yeah. I would go with Tyrese. In, in a minute, I think it makes the team better. Uh, what's the young fella's name from Minnesota? Uh, uh, Ed Edwards. Yeah. Edwards, when asked, said. He is the number one option for this team. See, uh, that's agree, what agree, me. agree or disagree? That worries me, though. See, that why? Because you already started some sort of distinct, distinction. Uh, is he no? Don't you want it? I mean, is he he no? No, I think he's confident. Be, in all, in all, in all fairness and all truth, he may be the top one or two. Because my man uh, Tatum ain't bad, you know. Even though he he hasn't won a whole bunch of championships. He's not a bad a bad leader, dude. Well, how many championships has Anthony Edwards won? None. <laughs> right, that's fine. But he I don't think that's talking. I don't think that's the the, the bellwether. I'm just saying, is it good for your young stud to come in and and have 
he believed it too. I don't think well, he was just. I, I mean, it's great to be full of piss and vinegar, but when you get out there, you know, you you gotta you gotta put the ball on the hoop. So let me put it to you this I, way: I, before I, 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 go ahead, Freddie. I, I think it's good. You know why? To to the very point that you made. You don't need the forty year old being exactly. You know, well, you know. You got to turn the tide. We have to send a message that our young players are good enough. This isn't for me just exactly. about 2024. Yeah. Right? And, 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 you know, and I don't know. I, I'll say this, Jerry. I'm not saying that he is or he isn't. I just like when he was asked the question, he didn't defer. He didn't right? defer. And, and, and you know what, Freddie? I can understand that because sometimes the player doesn't know when it's his time to start stepping back. You understand? Mm -hmm. And I think that, that LeBron is at that point where, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. But I'm not tomorrow, you know what I'm saying. So you you got to start letting people sprout their wings. That's not his job to let them do that. that. His job is to play as well as he can. But you know, speed and and all of that. And for his age, he can still he can still up get up and down the court and all of that stuff. But the younger guys, they're still coming, and you're not, you're not getting any younger. Next year, you won't be younger. You're getting older. If you, know? you had to say, if you had to answer the question, Jr. And I know it's a team game, but I'm going to put it out there. If there's a go-to guy for you on this roster, who is it? Hmm. A go-to guy for me would probably be uh, Tatum. Freddie? Is KD on the scene, right? Yes. There you go. He is, yeah. <laughs> you know, for me, my, my go-to guy would be either KD or LeBron. I got KD. LeBron is not my go-to guy. But <laughs> He ain't even in the. No, 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 I think no, KD no, really is would, the go-to guy. He would guy. be my go-to guy if I need a three-pointer, right? You said he would or he wouldn't. He wouldn't be. He oh, wouldn't good, because they had a clip on him today in practice, three. launching threes, wasn't even hitting the rim. Oh, right, dang. you know. But <laughs> if, but if I if I needed somebody to get to the cup, and, and you know, game was tied. You know, who can get to the cup better than Young Edwards, though, man? My yes. goodness, you, you know. But the thing about Edwards, Edwards is is his maturity. I yeah. agree. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. that's why you it's it's good for it's good for, for for him to say that. By the time this releases, I think the first tune up game will be over. Yeah, they're playing that on the tenth at ten thirty against Canada. Uh Canada's got a got a good team too. Mm -hmm. So uh Wish the wish the lads well. Hope hope they do well, and uh, we'll we'll see uh, how we do. We'll we'll be getting you guys up to speed on it all throughout. I mean, you know, if they make it to the championship round. And 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 that is the expectation. Uh that would actually be on, on August the 10th. So that's when the when the gold medal games are going to be. So we got about a month of uh, of this and uh we'll we'll see how it goes. Um before we get out of here, let me see if the guys got something to say. JR, you the first one back after a couple of weeks. You got a lot to say, something to say, nothing to say. I had something to say, I forgot now. I really have. I, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to bring that up next week. My, my mind's starting to go a little bit, but it's okay. You're Come entitled, me, bro. <laughs> Freddie, how about you, buddy? You got something to say? Nothing to say this week. Fair enough. Um, my, I got something to say. It's really just something to, um, you know, level set where we're at with baseball, right? We're halfway through the season. You got the All-Star game coming up. Um, I, I'm, I'm really happy with where baseball is right now. Uh, I, I've been watching games, watching 11, 11 inning game the other night. Um, you know, with Atlanta after after Atlanta beating Philadelphia, who Philly's really, really hot. Uh, Baltimore is hot. Uh, there's some teams that we weren't talking about in, in the beginning of the season. I do think that the uh post all-star break is where you know, where, where the medal is going to going to get tested. If you have a shot, you really gotta tweak a few things. Um, and some teams, Yankees being one of them, have to really figure out what their way forward is going to be. So I, that's my I got something to say is if you haven't Spend any time with Major League Baseball. Uh, the brand is very good right now. Um, check out a couple of games and enjoy the enjoy the All Star game. I, I think that they got some. It's it's a really stacked field, and uh, I'm looking forward to that as well. Is it not so much the the home run derby? I think it's I think it's trash. Um, you know, nothing personal, but nobody's in it anymore. It's kind of like the dunk contest with the NBA. Guys are entering that only have 15 dingers so far, but we got cats out there with 30 and high 20s that aren't in it. You know, but I get it. You know. <laughs> just to just to piggyback on you, I got something to say, man. I'd like to see a a, a a rookie a rookie game, maybe like the NBA does. Just something, you know. It's uh, uh there's some there's some good rookies out there, Russ. You 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 point. Well, they do they do the the future stars game, which is basically your all stars from AAA, but not 
not once they've come up in the bigs, they don't have a separate rookie game. I wish they would because uh, man, some of them guys, you know, they don't make it. If they don't make it, you'll never see them. But there's there's some good looking rookies out here now. I would say um, shout out to the, to all the guys that this is their first time making it. Um, my guy, uh, Ellie De La Cruz, uh, first time All Star, couldn't qualify last year because when they brought him up, he didn't have enough time. And help me out here. What's the young fella's name on the Nats? Uh, Josh uh, Washington. No. Uh, uh, here we go. C.J. Abrams. Congratulations, yeah. C.J. Uh, deserving of the nod and the only Washington National on the squad. So if I forgot anybody else, um, all you guys, this is your first time. Go out there, get it, have some fun. Um, that's all we got time for this week. We will catch up with you guys next week. Stay cool out there. It's hot. We'll see you in a few days. Peace. Yep.